Today I'm going to do something that I've been, I've never done before. So this is the first time ever for me doing this. So obviously still not perfect with lights and probably not all the techniques either, but especially not on camera, but I'll try my best. What today I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my makeup as I normally do on a daily basis. Now, I don't wear, especially now during quarantine, I don't wear makeup every day. However, when I do, this is the face that I do usually, not this, but the one I'm gonna do. So right now, all I'm, all I'm wearing at the moment is just some cream um, from The Ordinary. Uh, it's like a moisturi moisturizer. I'm also wearing an eye cream and some lip balm, just to make sure that whenever I get to, to do my makeup on my lips, I also have hydrated lips. I forgot my pins. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna be right back. Oh, I look awful with these on. I don't know how so many girls look so nice and cute with them. I look like a five-year-old child with some bad issues. I've learned throughout the years, because I have to be fair with you, I haven't used primer since probably six months ago <laughs> when I discovered that this is a really good primer actually that is the e.l.f. poreless putty primer it's like this and it should mattify your skin which I like because I have some texture in some spots on my face I've had acne for quite a while so I'm still kind of recovering from it I would say put it here um, yeah, I'm applying it all over where I know I have some pores and I, I want to blur them. But I also put them, put the primer, whatever I know that I have some texture uh, and I want my makeup to apply as smooth as possible. So I was a bit skeptical about primers because I've always thought that, you know, I already have a problematic skin. I don't want to create more problems on my skin, applying more stuff, more silicone or whatever they're made of. But I have to say this one in particular, I have I have used it for a while now and it doesn't make me break out. So that's, that's a plus for me. Next up, I usually normally apply, apply first my face, my foundation and you know concealer and all that good stuff. On a daily basis, I don't wear foundation. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to apply woo, this concealer from LA Girl, um, Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Bisque. Bought this when I was in America because we don't have LA Girl here in the UK. Sad story like this I just put it where I can see that I have discoloration or which I know in the end it's gonna look like it's all over the place <laughs> so it kind of defeats the whole purpose of not putting foundation on but I still feel like it's definitely lighter all right so I'm gonna use now a sponge it's a damp sponge and this one is from real techniques and I use the butt it's just more bouncy all right next I'm going to use a concealer that I found in Primark and it's in the shade ivory and it's my perfect color liquid concealer medium coverage yeah I do agree it's medium coverage it's not full coverage but underneath I use this only underneath my eyes I don't want something full coverage on a for for a daily makeup underneath my eye and I find that if I use something full coverage underneath my eyes it just looks so obvious and it looks bad on me this one is just perfect it's two freaking pounds i recently changed the way i apply my concealer underneath my eyes thanks to tiktok so i found this technique that i think it became popular right now because of tiktok and it's called the foxy eyes look it looks more natural but it also 
glitz your eyes like baby. So what you do is just apply it like a straight line across like next to your nose and then you just drag it here where where you can see the darkness because obviously you don't want that maybe bring it up a little bit because this is normally the spot like the inner corner is normally the spot that is the darkest and then you stop there you don't do like a circle or a triangle all over your under eye area then what I use is a very dirty brush, tiny one, but compact one. And then you just spread it evenly. And then I am going to take the concealer back and draw a line that goes up. Like so. Drag it down just a little bit. Same brush. I'm gonna blend it. And I do the same on the other side. Next, I, I don't powder my face straight away after concealer because I feel like if I do it straight away, it looks cakey. If I wait for it to dry up a little bit, then it looks more natural. So what I do next after concealer is my eyebrows, because they look like they need some help. And again, I found a new technique with my eyebrows that I really like. So what I have is just a regular soap like this one and what I do with that soap bar is I wet it just a little bit with I use the Mario Badescu but you can use any even just water if you want to then I take an old spoolie I just try to get the product now you don't want it too wet Otherwise, it's just gonna make foam on your face and you don't want that. You just want the right amount and then you brush up. And you do the same on the other eyebrow. And then once I do that, so I do this first and then I fill them in. Right after that, I'm gonna take a, an, an angled brush like, like this, and then I'm gonna use a shadow to fill in my eyebrows. I use, I don't wanna take it up because it just looks insane. It's all cracked. I'm sorry about it because it's one of my favorite palettes I own. But yeah, I'm gonna take this dark brown right here that is like a cool tone brown because if I put a warm tone brown my eyebrows will look either orange or red. I'm gonna take a cool matte brown with the angle brush and then I just fill in lightly doing some light strokes like so and as much as I love a thick fluffy eyebrow I've learned that on my face a thick eyebrow just doesn't work well it just doesn't look nice I don't like it on me I love on, I love it on other people and I wish I looked nice with it but I have to say it just doesn't suit me so I have to go with a thinner shape which I know is not a trend but at the end of the day is whatever looks good on you that you have to work with and not just the trend. Because every time I do my eyebrows a bit thicker, I just think, why am I doing this? I just don't look nice with it. I'm gonna do the other side. You know how they say that um, eyebrows are 
sisters, not twins. Well, I have to say mine are not even from the same family tree or whatever it's called. Right, so after that, I don't even have to apply gel or any kind of setter, eyebrow setter, because they are already set. And they look like this. I might, I might add a little bit, tiny bit on the arch on this side. All right, so next, I'm going to apply some powder on my face. Again, I don't put too much of it. I use the Rimmel Stay Matte shade 001 Transparent. And I don't apply it all over my face. I just apply it where I need it. So I take a brush, a flat brush like this, and I go around my nose where I know I'm gonna be shiny in a little bit. Like this. That I don't have any fine line, any product in the fine lines, blend it if needed. And then I apply some um, powder here as well. I also apply a little bit in the center of my forehead, which tends to go quite shiny. I apply it above my eyebrow, which again, for some reason goes shiny. In a few hours, it's gonna be shiny if I don't. And my chin, which again, shiny spot. And I would say if you want a natural makeup, avoid the rest. You don't really need it. Unless you have a really, really oily skin. Right, so next I'm gonna take my mini Hoola bronzer. I love this product. To take a flat brush, right? This one. I just chisel my cheeks. Sort of contouring, but light contouring and nothing, nothing crazy. Underneath my jaw and underneath my nose, like so. I'm then gonna take a brush like this one. And again, with my Hoola bronzer, I am going to take some product. I'm gonna contour my nose, basically, and I'm, I draw two lines as narrow as possible because the narrower, the smaller the nose is gonna appear. Contouring your nose should be different for every person because every person has a different nose. Do the bottom because I want my, my nose to look shorter. And obviously here because I want my nose to look primier and less wide. And with the same brush that I used for my powder, I take it again, take my powder again, and I just go on the sides of my contour, like here. First to blend it, and second to make the sides lighter so that it looks like these are my natural shadows of the nose, if that makes any sense. All right, so next I'm going to bronze up my face. For bronzer, I use two bronzers. I use the Milani, this is number 09, Dolce, which is sweet in Italian. Quite shimmery, but it's nothing crazy. So I take a big brush like this one, take some product, and I just go on my cheek. Yeah, so I focus more on the outer part because the center part is gonna be for my blush. But on my forehead, I like a bronzed forehead. A little bit on my chin. Then I take my second bronzer, another Primark product. And it was in shade 13 Cinnamon. So, and it's actually, it's not a bronzer, it's a foundation pressed powder. That's probably what it makes it not muddy. It looks like this. I don't go too generously with this one. 
I take another brush like this, don't use the same one, just again put it towards the outer part of my face. I do apply a little bit on my neck because right now my neck and my chest look like they belong to another person. <laughs> ah, they are so white. I should have applied some fake tan for this video, but I just didn't feel like it, you know? So see, I don't use a lot of this, but I have to say it makes a difference. What is next? I have to apply some blush. Use for this a brush like this, a tiny one and round and very soft. I love this brush. And I just take it on the sides rather than the center. So. Take some more on one side and I just apply it like not on the tip of the nose, right on top of it. And, and I don't know if you can tell, but the skin, because of the fact that this is quite shimmery already, it looks like I'm wearing highlighter as well, quite shiny in a nice way. I love it. All right. Next, I'm gonna do my eyes. So what I go for is, again, from the same Carly Bible palette that I use for my eyebrows, and I use this bronzy color right here that it's like gold. Looks like this. Then for the bottom lashes, not lashes, but like for the bottom part of my eye, I take the same color, but this time with a pencil brush like this. And I go just like that underneath my eyes. And now the biggest part for my eyes is definitely mascara for me. And I use the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. I'm gonna do the second coat and I apply a little bit on the bottom lashes as well. Not too much. Next, I'm gonna take a little brush like this one and I'm going to take, again, the Carly Bible palette. I use that on a daily basis. I love that palette. I think it's, it looks natural, but also really, really pretty. I'm gonna show you which highlighter I'm gonna use. This one that has nothing left on it because it's all destroyed. This one, which is like um, gold highlighter and put it on the center of my nose like so then just a tiny little like dot i don't apply too much of it on the rest of my face i'm gonna take that um, mario badescu again and i'm gonna spritz it all over my face on my face like this. it looks like skin it doesn't look like a, a line of glitter on my face i also go a little bit on on the center of my cheeks. I also go on my cupid's bow like so and a little bit here like this. Yeah. Next I am going to apply a light uh, pencil. This is from Bourgeois. Yeah from Bourgeois. Uh, and it's the waterproof in shade Fair Play. It's like a rosy butter shade. It's really nice. Um, and I'm gonna apply it inside my eyes. Yeah, I think this makes a huge difference on my eyes. Last but not least, I'm going to apply some lip liner and that's pretty much it. On a daily basis, I just apply lip liner to overline them a little bit and then lip balm. I just do that. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the NYX uh, lip pencil in shade Peekaboo Neutral and it's the dupe for the 
Charlotte Tilbury pillow top. Color wise, I think it's very, very close to that shade. Go a little bit internally as well. And this is the final result. I think it looks natural but with glow. I just wanted to show you from a bit closer and also from more of a natural light. I'm gonna leave a description. All the products that I used right below. Yeah, let me know if you want to see other looks on me and if you want to see me recreate other things that you might be interested in and thank you so much for watching i'm still new on this whole video thing so please be be nice um but i really enjoyed doing it so definitely gonna do it more and yeah see you next time bye and i think give the concealer take it because then i take an old spoolie, like, spoolie.